hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to create this kind of paper cutout texture in photoshop now this effect can be used in your flyer designs in your poster designs and in your overall graphic design projects and without further ado let's get into the video okay the first thing i want to do is to open my photoshop and then I want to create a solid color background. I'm just going to make this like this, this color. Okay. And then I'm going to um, create a shape. I'm going to be using this um, shape. Just create a shape of your choice. Okay. So um, I want to make this shape white. And then I'm going to convert the shape to a smart object. Now, the next thing I want to do is. Let me just align this to the center. You tap Ctrl A and then use your alignment um, tools here. This and this. This will align it to horizontal center and this will align it to the vertical centers. Okay. Um, Ctrl D to deselect. And I'm going to go over to filter and I'll go over to distort and I'll go back to displace and I'll go with 20 by 20. For a start, you can try different options and the displacement map. This will be in the description below so that you can use it, download it, and use it in your Photoshop. Okay, so as you can see, it has created um, this rough texture around it. And if you want it to be more, just increase the displaced value, the horizontal and the vertical scale. If I increase it to 40 and I choose the displacement. You are going to have this now you can see it has added more this is the before and this is the after okay now you can also play around with this you can make this 100 and then you go back to the same file and then it's going to yeah this is going to happen now you can you have seen what happened there now i'm just going to make this 60 and uh, maybe make this 50 okay uh, just try what works for you and then when it works you are going to have this all right so um, this is the effect now playing here now if i go over to my um, rectangle um, layer and then i double click on the layer i can now come back here and then i can make this shape whatever um, size i want so i've reduced the shape now here and I've saved it with Ctrl S and Ctrl W. Now, if you, if I go back to this, you're going to see this shape has reduced. You're going to see the shape has reduced. Now, see the before and the after. Okay. I also want to add. Um, I want to add a texture to this um, to this shape. Now, I'm going to go back to my textures and then. Okay, the texture I want to use is right here. So I'll, I'll go back to here and then I'm going to select a texture that I'll be using for this. Okay. Now I've imported this and then I'm going to rotate this and resize it according to my shape. Alright. So I'm going to I'm going to enable my clip mask and still going to increase the shape a bit. Alright. So, if I go back and increase this, I just want to increase the height of this. Ctrl S and Ctrl W to come out of this space. I will go back to this and you can see um, the effect here. Now, because I want this effect to show very much more, I'm going to go back to my camera raw filter. Sorry, not this one. I'm going to go back to my camera raw filter and in camera of it uh, here is where i'm going to be applying some effect on this um on this um texture so i'm going to carry the texture up so how the texture on the image will show I'm going to carry my clarity up i'll increase my vibrance increase my shadows also and reduce my um highlight a bit I'm going to go over to detail and then increase my sharpen and then I'm going to leave it like this 
I'm going to leave it like this and then you are going to see the effect playing out right now okay now we're not done I'm going to go to the original rectangle layer and then here I'm going to add some layer styles like drop shadow which will make it look less flat than it is or than it, 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 yeah, than it is right now I'm going to increase my noise a bit and my opacity okay so we're having this and I'm also going to add the gradient overlay on top of this now you can see what how that effect is playing on, on it yeah, you can get something like this I'm going to increase my skill or you can use a normal black to white gradient normal black to white gradient, gradient increase the opacity and then it's it makes it look less flat okay I'm just going to reduce the opacity a bit and inner shadow also this is not compulsory but it's just for it to look more real for it to look more real now you can make this black like this and you can see the edges you can see the edges of this if i if i put this off you can see the edges okay so yeah so that's just a breakdown how i create this um this paper cutout texture in photoshop all right if this video helped you a lot just kindly subscribe to this youtube channel and like this video so that the youtube algorithm will push it out to other people who might want to watch videos relating to stuff like this on photoshop and um share this video to other people so that they can watch as well and i really want to thank you guys for watching my videos for always supporting uh you guys are the real deal you guys are the real mvp and um just stay tuned stay tuned on my youtube channel and yeah i'll see you in the next one goodbye